clean my life. I started to practice self-care. I started to practice self-love. I started to, I, I started to tell, I started to love what I looked at when I saw myself in the mirror. I started to get the negative thoughts of, of the impossible out of my mind. I started to believe that I can create the person that I desire to be and that nothing was impossible. I started to say to myself, y'all, nothing is impossible. And then I started to see life change. I started to see my attitude change. I wanted to build my life around people who believed in something bigger than what we can see here. A lot of my life is lived in the future, but physically I'm here in my present. I decided to, I decided to get mentors and, and follow the blueprint that they had laid out for success and for life and I started to follow the blueprint. And then I started to lay a solid foundation for myself. And I started to, I started to build myself through, through certain principles and core values. And then I started to choose what my life was going to be built out of. And I started to, I started to just advance myself and say that the next part of my life is going to require the best version of me. And then finally, I cleaned up everything inside. Because what happens a lot of times is sometimes people talk about how dirty other people's houses are when their houses are just as dirty. Meaning some people talk about other people's lives when their lives are not put together themselves. And I just stopped doing that altogether. I stopped, I stopped inviting people over to my house that would talk about my life. Right? I know, I know, we, we, I think we all know some people who, when you, when you go into their house, they go, oh, excuse the mess, but it's clean. It's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> this house looks beautiful. You're beautiful. Do so, it's, it's, that insecure, I don't know where that came from, but don't be so insecure. And you shouldn't be inviting people over your house that want to talk about your house anyway. They should understand. I got kids. Yes, there's a toy on the steps. It's been there for seven days. So what? I just walk around it. It's called avoiding adversity. <laughs> it's called moving around challenges. I practice this every day of my life. But if you, if you want to build something, if you want to build something special, which I think every one of us can build something extremely special, I encourage you to start with the steps that we talked about today. And I encourage you to believe that it's possible. My saying in life, my saying in life, my, my book title, when the book ultimately comes out, is winners write history, losers become a part of the story. And the reason that I say that is because I guarantee that if you don't write your history, somebody's gonna write you into their story. A month might be a paragraph. Mm -hmm. You have the ability at any time to turn a novel from a drama to a comedy to a horror or whatever, because you have agency. Yes. So what does it matter if you graduated with a 2.2? Mm -hmm. That could be chapter one and two of what could be a 15 chapter novel. Mm -hmm. You have agency. At any point in your life, you have agency. You, I, I have another speech centered around that exact same premise.